So your browser, uh, whether it be Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, has been hijacked by this iStartSurf.com. Basically, it's a browser hijacker, and it just consistently redirects your your homepage. And it's, I'm going to show you how to remove this manually. And I'm going to start off with Google Chrome, then I'm going to show you with IE, and then Firefox. Okay, so first thing is first, before you do anything, what you guys need to do is you need to go into your control panel, and you need to go into the add remove programs. So let me go ahead and do this. I'll go into my control panel here. And we'll go into uninstall program. Okay, now through this list here, first thing you guys gotta do is this, okay? Now the thing is, like it could be under a different name, but look under here where I sit where it says I remove programs control panel. You wanna look at these, okay? If it says um if anything, with any of the words with I start or I start surf or search, protect or search protect, saver can do it, search can do it, save, safe protect, ads, it can be any, under any one of these names. Do you guys have it in here in your ad remove programs? You want to go ahead and uninstall it. Some of you will have it in here, some of you don't. Depending on where you downloaded this browser hijacker, it can put it in different places in your computer. Anyways, if you have any of these down on here, go ahead and uninstall all of them. Now, first thing, let's start off with Google Chrome. So if you had it in the Add Remove Programs and you uninstalled it, next thing to do is go to Google Chrome and you want to go into Settings. So the top right-hand corner, you want to go ahead and click on that three-bar prong and we want to go to Settings. Go to Settings and then... <clears throat> With this to load up. Okay. <clears throat> There's like four places we want to go under here. Okay. First place is here on startup. It says open specific page or set of pages. Click on set pages. Look on here. If you have that I start surf on here, what you want to do is hover above it and click on delete. And like I said, some of you guys will have it in here, some of you will have it in different places. Next place, go under appearance. See where it says change right here? Click on change. Make sure that's not in here. If it's in here, what you want to do is you want to highlight it and click X. Next place under search, click on manage search engines. Under here, anything here that doesn't belong, you simply highlight it, click the X, click the X. You see mine, I have uh, my Yahoo is on, uh, it's the default because it's, uh, it's in bold print here. Uh, make it um, something like, for instance, if I want my Google Chrome or uh, Google to be my um, to be my uh, my my browser or my search engine, I will click on Make Default. I'll click on that, and now I can see it's highlighted. Anything else here that doesn't belong in here, even on the bottom down here, doesn't belong in here, guys. Go ahead and exit out. Okay. Next step, what we want to do is we want to look on the very bottom here and it says show advanced setting. I'm going to click on that. And now we're able to scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom. And it says right here, reset browser. This is the last step right here. Once you go ahead and click on reset, follow the steps. And don't forget, when you guys reset any browser, you're going to lose all your favorites, your bookmarks. It's basically going to be like a fresh install. Once you do that, close and reopen Google Chrome and you guys should be good to go. If it's still in there, if it's still coming back, then you guys have something else. Look back in the control panel, it's probably under a different name. Sometimes it could be under the company's name, like so-and-so LLC. If something you're not familiar with is on there, go ahead and uninstall it. Okay, so that's for Google Chrome. Next, let's move to Internet Explorer. Okay, so once you're on Internet Explorer, top right-hand corner, you want to click on that little wrench, or it could be a three-part prong depending on what version of Internet Explorer you're using. First place we want to go to is we want to go to manage add-ons. Click on that. Look under here under tools and extensions. If you see I start surf, highlight it, disable it. Same thing. Go under search providers. You see anything here that doesn't belong? Simply highlight it and click on remove. Next place we want to go to, again, top right-hand corner, click on that little wrench. 
Now this time we want to go down to Internet Options. Your home page here, make sure it doesn't have nothing to do with iStarter. You can use a default, you can put Google.com right in here. Or you can use the, the, the uh, default here. Last and final step is what we want to do is we want to reset this entire Internet Explorer. So under Advanced tab here, look down here, it says Reset. Now don't forget, it's the last step here. Once we reset, you're going to lose all of your, your uh, all of your bookmarks, your, your favorite's going to be gone, uh, your history's going to be deleted. It's, bas it's basically going to be a fresh copy. Once you click on reset, follow the steps, close and reopen IE, and it, you guys should be good to go. Now let's move to Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so we're at Mozilla Firefox. You can click on this three bar prong. Actually, let me do it this way. Uh, if you don't have a menu bar up here, just right click up here and click on menu bar. Then you can see this pop here, file, uh, history, whatnot. And then what we're going to do is we'll click on tools, go to add-ons. And here you want to look at three areas. You want to look at extensions. Make sure that I start surf is not in there. If it is, you want to remove it or disable it. Same thing under appearance. You want to look through here. And you want to look under your plugins too. Remember, some of you guys may have it in one of these areas. Some of you may have it in none. If you do see it in here, remove it or disable it or deactivate it. After you do this part, what you want to do is you want to go into, click on tools again, you want to go down to options. Make sure the general tab is clicked and make sure your home page is to the home page that you want. Obviously you don't want it at istartsurf.com. Also, we want to go to Uh, next spot, we want to go to manage search engines. So what you do is, um, you see the little down arrow here, you, you may have this on here. There's several ways you can get to the manage search engines. This is one of them. Simply click on this down arrow and it says manage search engines down here. And we want to look through here. If you see anything that I started something you don't want in there, simply just highlight it and remove it. Last but not least, we want to reset this Mozilla Firefox. So what we do is we go to click on help and we go to troubleshooting information. The top right hand side you will see where it says reset Firefox. And now this is the last step. Don't forget once you guys reset Firefox you're going to lose all of your favorites, uh, all your bookmarks, your, your history is going to be cleared, everything is going to be gone, it's going to be like a fresh new copy and that would be the last step. Once you do that, close and reopen. Now, I also forgot to mention, guys, if you guys are, it's just, if it's, uh, you do all these steps and it's still coming, it's very possible that you may be double clicking on your desktop, uh, the shortcut, and the shortcut target is pointing to wherever that isurf.com exe file is. So if you're still getting it, you may want to right click on your, um, your browser's uh, shortcut and then look at the target path, like for instance, um, hold on one second. Okay, so for instance, like here's my Google Chrome shortcut. I just um, right clicked on my desktop, went to properties, and you can see it says right here, and the same thing with IE and uh, Mozilla Firefox and Opera, all the other browsers. So you see my targets, program files, Google, Chrome, application, and then chrome.exe. Look on your shortcut, guys, because a lot of you may have the uh, iStart um, surf dot exe and it's pointing to another directory. What you have to do is go into the path wherever your actual browser is, like for instance, and I wrote everything down in the description, so all you gotta do is look down in the description. Um, for instance, yeah, so basically if uh, if you have like, um, if you're looking at uh, like Mozilla Firefox, it'd be like program, fire, program files, Mozilla Firefox slash like Firefox dot exe, and whatnot, but I'll put all the information in the bottom. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment on the bottom. Thanks. Bye.